Infernal greetings everybody, Reverend Jack, United Satanic Empire here, and today I wanted to share a little something really bizarre that happened to me, and take you through a little trip through history. We're going to show that the New Testament is even if it could possibly be been factual, which we all know it wasn't. But anyway, we're going to dispel it real quick here. There was two people come knocking on my door today, and they wanted to preach the gospel of Jesus to me. And I politely told them that I was not interested, that I was a Satanist, and they kept trying to force and force and force and force it on me, trying to hand me papers and everything else, and they would not take no for an answer, still trying to force their lies and everything upon me. So, eventually I said, look, I told you I'm not interested, I don't want to hear it, go somewhere else and pound somebody else over the head with your Bible, and I closed the door. Well, I went out to go to the store a little bit ago, and I find their little pieces of garbage laying on my front porch. Well, the side porch, actually, for those that have been here. Anyway, it was all about the book of Revelations in there. Well, folks, I got those for ya. Those fundies. And the other Christians say that we're living in the times of the New Testament. New Testament been over since the end of the Roman Empire, you idiots. What part did you miss? The New Testament, you're supposed that Jesus came, did his dirty work, broke the religious laws, was punished for it. You worship a device of torture. And then the disciples all run around everywhere and come up with all these pagan stories that they perverted to themselves. But anyway, then they come up and John is exiled to an island. And I'm sitting there all by his lungs and he is just pissed. And he must have found some mushrooms, some magic mushrooms somewhere on that island. Because he had some hellacious hallucinations. But he hit a couple of things right. The book of Revelations was written about the times of Nero. How many times do you idiots have to be told that? Even the number 666 refers to Nero. I'm going to be cast in Lake of Fire? I don't think so. The Roman Empire is gone. The book of Revelations... So if, if, if you even want to believe anything of it, anyway, the Roman Empire was a known world. The world's going to end in fire. The world burned when Negro was around. End of story. We are not living in the New Testament. Do you know what we're living in? Facts are, the world was destroyed by fire. And then some nut job writes all this down and you're supposed to believe it. But anyway, the known world was the Roman Empire. Rome burned, so it's now the age of fire. 
Why don't you go look at the videos that I reposted called Christian, the greatest story ever told, Christianity. And then I'll show you the facts. The fact is, the Book of Revelations already happened. If you want to be moronic enough to even believe that in that book, that is a handbook for murder and terrorism, that's all it is. You know, the lake of fire was Rome when it's burning. The fire and brimstone, well, the Rome burning, the brimstone, the bu In them days, Rome was built basically out of stone. They had a little bit of wood up in the roofs. Okay, so the brims, the, the stone heated up and stunk. Okay, end of story. Now's the age of fire. Hail Satan. Hail thyself. Bless be. Wait till you see how we expose Exodus as a fraud. This has been Bible Lesson 101-1. Of the blood was sent, unleash the beast within. I walk around with the strength of a hundred men. Two pass the one before I count the ten. Blood dripping from my canine like a thousand pen. I was born ready, motherfucker.